that is the MM if you have a cable. That is the MM tala radio, but that's three o'clock in the morning. So kung tulog, it's okay lang po yun, okay? Yeah, because I'm into sexual wellness. I educate about sex. Okay, lang po. But this time, let's talk about water. Sorry, parang parang sabi niya sa sayang sex talk. Alam mo? Because you drink water before. No, kasi nung edad ko pa noon, I used to drink rain water nung edad ko. I'm already 50 plus, so nagaanan ko po yun. You also drink distilled water, purified water, reverse osmosis water. My point is, the quality of water you drink will actually depend. Which means, ang katawan mo, baka may mangyari kung hindi tamang tubig ang iyong tinitin. Remember, you are about 75 to 80% water, di ba? Tama? You are 75 to 85% water and definitely 99.9% you are made up of water molecules. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It actually, yung the quality of water you drink impacts the quality of life that you live. Okay. Ang realidad ngayon ng buhay, simple lang. Let's read this. The world's leading causes of premature deaths and degenerative diseases. Yan tinatawag na pag ikaw ay na stroke. Pag ikaw ay na heart attack, ibig sabihin na lang ang cardiovascular accident. Okay? Gusto mo naman may cancer ka. Or ayaw daw. Okay? And may respiratory diseases ka. For example, you have the common, which is asthma. At kung ikaw ay naniligarilyo, pwede magkaroon ka ng chronic obstructing pulmonary disease. Which means you will have what? Ano meron doon? Gumabara-bara na. Meron ka acute bronchitis or pulmonary emphysema if you smoke ka na. Question. Sino dito ang mga nag-smoke? Sige nga. Before. Walang kumakas. Kailangan honest lang. Okay lang po yun. Kasi patiktik po kayo. Sino nag-smoke dito ngayon? Up to now. Sino yung quitters? Quit. Ask me yung negosit quitter ako eh. Okay, so. Okay lang po yun. If you have quit, it's okay. Alam niyo po, yung tinatawag na nag-quit, ganito yan eh. If you started smoking at 50 years old, ang hirap-hirap mag-quit. Totoo po yun. Pero pag nag-smoke ka, bata ka pa, you can still quit. Ako, ano may ibig sabihin? Pag nag-start ka ng late na, hirap kang tumigil. Pero kung bata ka pa, makakatigil ka pa. Okay? Yan. 33% of children born in America today are expected to develop type 2 diabetes for black and Hispanic. Hispanic children, the number jumps to 50%. So, ibig sabihin, maray po ang problema globally, hindi lang sa Pilipinas. Okay? You have to understand ano ibig sabihin ng free radicals and antioxidants. Hindi ako tayo ng konting ibang idea lang kung ano yung free radicals. Okay? Yung free radicals are actually produced by you, normally. Pero may mga free radicals that are reactive, meron ding non-reactive. So, ang tapos matakot ka sa reactive. Okay? Ang tawag doon ay reactive oxygen species. So, nagdagaling siya basically sa oxygen, hindi sa hydrogen. You have to take note of that. Okay? So, reactive oxygen species, not all are masama, pero meron tinatawag na reactive. Yung iba, hindi masyado reactive. Hindi pinapakialaman ng antioxidants yan. Remember again, only the reactive is the one you are really be cautious of. Okay? So, saan galing yun? Sa anong parte ng cell? It's from the mitochondrion. Okay? This is the mitochondrion. Kung isa lang. Remember, you are made up of cells, so ang tawag ko na yung mitochondria. Okay? Ayan. Mitochondria are responsible for generating cellular energy. Remember, that's the one that gives you energy. But mas, siya rin nagbibigay sa'yo ng free radicals. You cannot do anything. Ganun talaga eh. So this is a mitochondria. Mitochondria yun pala. Isa lang. Okay? So it says here that it provides energy generating protein complex but it also gives out free radicals. Okay? Yun lang. Basic lang para malaman ninyo. Okay? So sana kasi ikinisip ninyo free radicals. Maraming kaya ako nun. Meron kayong lahat kayo. Meron yan. Maraming pinamapaka meron ka yan. Okay? Yeah. So the greatest enemy to our health are free radicals. Yan ang itsuna niya. Ito yung normal cell, no? Pag inatake ng free radicals, ayan, parang may scrambled egg ka na. Parang may puta, naputa sa itlog, naging looking at me, tapos ngayon naging scrambled egg na. Okay? So that leads to onset of disease. Okay? Ayan. Okay. So, paano mo i-define ang free radicals if you have that? Which means, 
it is unpaired. All free radicals are unpaired electrons. Nang wawala ang isang electron kaya nagiging free radicals. Okay? So, ayan. Yung electron na yan ay dalawa. Ngayon ay isa na lang. So, free radical yan. Probably free radicals are the causes of diseases. Then, pili na lang po kayo. Gusto mo ng hypertension. Gusto mo ng hype ng endothelial dysfunction. Sakit sa mata, arthritis, cryoma, pili ka ate. Ano gusto mo? Diabetes? Ayan. So, lang pinanggaling yan ay free radicals. It's called the free radical theory of aging. Okay? So, lahat ng degenerative diseases comes from free radicals. Okay? Ayan. That is actually the basis of Dr. Denham Harman. Okay? Alright. So, all the free radicals actually coming from your body and also it comes from ultraviolet rays, atmospheric pollution, from stress, from poor diet, sa pakikipag-away, sa asawa mo, sa boyfriend mo, yan po ay nagkukos ng free radicals. Wala kang tulog, free radicals din po yun. Pagkain ng maraming kanin, pag-inom ng maraming soft drinks, free radicals din ibigay mo. Okay, so you will start to have degenerative diseases. Okay, may oxygen paradox. Ibig sabihin, the more oxygen we breathe, the more free radicals are formed. Ibig sabihin, kung mas madalas ka huminga, mas may ato mga free radicals. So, ibig sabihin pala, kung may kapag... Kung may huminga. Ibig sabihin, pag... Ibig sabihin, sabi siya, nagpapa-exercise ako, eh. Sabi ko, ito, deep. I do deep breathing. Hindi nga na malalim. Huwag mo na inabasin. Slowly exhale. Sige nga, inhale. Exhale to your mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Huwag ka nito. Sir, mabayang gabi pa yan. Okay, so... Sabi niyo. Okay, so yung human, see? Mas mahaba ang buhay, pero mas madalas kang... Ang hinga ay mas shorter daw. Okay? That's the oxygen para daw. Okay, alright, so sinasabi lang dito, if your body produces active oxygen, kailangan meron siyang pairing na active hydrogen. Okay, that's the one. Okay, meron po pag-aaral, may isang group mo, may isang website, it's called the Molecular Hydrogen Foundation. Okay, napag-aralan mo dyan na, okay, balik tayo doon, pinag-aralan, binifine kung ano yung molecular hydrogen. Sige, simplehan ko. Meron pong tinatawag na atomic hydrogen. Isang proton, isang electron. Pero it is so reactive, it will pair with another hydrogen. So magiging molecular hydrogen yon or diatomic hydrogen. Ulit. So atomic hydrogen, isa lang yung electron niya. It has to pair with another hydrogen, kaya naging diatomic hydrogen ang tawag doon. Or molecular hydrogen. Yan ang nagbibigay ng therapeutic antioxidant kung siya ay molecular hydrogen. Nakuha. Nakuha na. Sista lang po yun. Okay. Alright. So, maraming kasi nakasulat eh. Hindi nyo din mababasa yan. Mahihilo lang kayo. Okay? This is another study that molecular hydrogen ang emerging medical gas with therapeutic potential. So, inaral siya. Hindi siya yung maraming chismis na ang sinabi nito. Ang sinabi nito nun. So, this is really studied. Okay? May back up siya. So, huwag po kayong matakot na yung pong Ayan, nasarap ninyo, hindi po problema yan that will actually give so much benefits in your body kahit na ang pangatawa nyo. Who are those guys? So, inaral siya. Hindi lang po kami. May nag-aral po dyan. Okay, si Albert Zan Giorgi, si Peter Mitchell, and of course, ang pinakabago, si Dr. Ota. Dr. Shigeru Ota. Okay, so that's the research. You can actually do it. Medyo ba mas bawasan ang pag-Facebook? Okay? Kailangan mo tama kayo, mag-Google kayo, Molecular Hydrogen Foundation, MHF, and everything is there. Please study it. Bawasan ko din yung pag-Facebook. Okay na po? Ayan. Parang nagagalit kayo sa akin. Nakakala ko sa mga mukha. Okay. Alright, so, again, Molecular Hydrogen Research. Actually, yung healing water, healing water from different countries, in as a Lourdes, yun na sa Germany, yun na kote water, meron din po sa China, may sa German, Germany, and etc. Meron pa nga daw sa Bohol, na pag ininom daw, nakakalaka daw yung tao. Okay, naaral po yun. Nung inaral po yun, yung pong tubig na yun ay merong hydrogen electron. Sobra pong dami. At mildly, slightly alkaline. Okay? Yan. Alright. 
So uh, to explain lang malapit na bang matapos, the hydrogen has a number of advantages as a potential antioxidant. Again, uulitin ko, antioxidant. It is that it actually neutralizes hydroxyl radical. Hydroxyl radical is a free radical. Yan yung pinaka-reactive na free radical. Di ba na pagito kanina, maraming free radicals, merong reactive, pero hindi. Okay, yung pinaka-reactive lang ang kanyang neutralize. Pinaka-reactive lang ang neutralize ng active hydrogen or hydrogen electrons. Okay? So, ano yung pangalan naman? They are the hydroxyl radical. Okay? Alright. It has the hydrogen electron actually has favorable distribution characteristics. Ano daw yun? Number one, it can penetrate biomembranes. Ibig sabihin, sobrang liit nga, it can penetrate any membrane, any cellular membrane, it can penetrate sa katawan mo, kahit anong pang cells yan na sa katawan mo. Okay? And it can be fused into the cytosol, and it, even the mitochondria and the nucleus, it will protect you from free radicals. Okay. So its ability to protect nuclear DNA and mitochondria suggests that it could reduce the risk of lifestyle related diseases and cancer. Wow. One of the most well-known molecules, pinag-aaralan ako na kayo niya, sobra na. Dati po ako nang inaaral oxygen. Oxygen, oxygen lang. And then later on, ito na. Hydrogen po talaga ang kailangan ng katawan natin. Not the oxygenated water, but the hydrogen-rich water. Yes. Hindi ko po sinisaraan yun. Sinasabi ko lang sa inyo, ay tama. Okay? It could be widely used in medical applications as safe, again, safe, 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 and effective antioxidant. Believe it or not. Okay? So, hydrogen acts as a therapeutic antioxidant by selectively, sineselect lang niya by reducing cytotoxic oxygen, uh, oxygen radicals. Okay? Pag sinabi mong reduction, okay yun. Pag oxidation, di maganda. Again, anong words yun? Oxidation is bad, reduction is okay. Yes. Okay, ayan. So, yung study na yan, again, yung hydroxy radical and yung peroxy nitrites, yan yung mga reactive oxygen species na i-utilize niya. Yung ibang free radicals, hindi niya pinapakailaman. Wow! Okay? Yun ang kinaganda nun. So, hindi po masama lumaklak ka yan, pero you need actually 1.5 liters a day. Hindi ka lang 3.5. Depende kung nag-exercise ka. 1.5 liters is good. Sa mga lalaki, medyo mas malaki, pwede 2 liters per day. Ha? Okay. Clinical improvements. To add it, it can improve your blood glucose, so good for diabetics. Okay? Good for renal situation. In diabetic gangrene, improvement of uric acid, so mga may arthritis, okay? Improvement of liver function, and hepatic disease, cirrhosis of the liver, hepatitis, and improvement of gastrointestinal ulcers and prevention of recurrences. Ano pa? Ano pa ginagawa? Pati yung cholesterol. Sino ang tasa cholesterol dito? Eh, magpa-examine kayo, magpa-blood kayo, ha? Kung hypertensive ka, hindi ko sinasabi hindi ka magiging hypertensive na. But, it will actually lower it, it will actually regulate your blood pressure. Ano pa? Hypersensitive disorders, dermatitis, kung may problema, ha? Yung may mga urticaria, yung mga may allergy, it can grow. Basta yung may inom ka ng regularly. Autoimmune diseases like rheumatism, allergy disease, and SLE, yung lupus, ano pa? Improvement of the so-called specific diseases in Bessel syndrome, ulcerative colitis, and Kawasaki's disease. Improvement of malignant tumor, cancer of the liver, hepatoma, and metastatic tumors. Improvement of general malay. Pag nangihina ka o nito na ng water, you will have so, so much energy. Okay? Pag nagpupupo, nagtatae, very good. Huwag ka nang bumili nung binibili pa sa ano, ayaw na sa ating pangalan. Ay kayo nang sabi mo na. Okay, alright, so... This is the guy, Dr. Shigi Yota, sa Molecular Hydrogen Foundation. And it is an emerging medical gas with therapeutic potential. So this is versus hydrogen, yun ang pag-aaral niya. Okay, one minute. Paano siya nag-work? Yung molecular hydrogen can easily diffuse into the subcellular compartments. Talagang sisiksik yan at hahanapin niya yung free radicals. Number two, it can trigger the activation of upregulation. Ibig sabihin, yung ibang antioxidant sa katawan mo na nandiyan na, tutulungan pa niya para mas dumami. Wow! Yung pinagawa, yung number two. may be a novel signaling molecule and can alter cell signaling. Kung sila yung cell signaling, ibig sabihin yung tamang metabolismo na katawan mo, 
i uh, uh, how do I say this? You still see that because it is saying the metabolism should really go on in the right way. Tama ang takbo. Yan ang ginagawa ng hydrogen electron. Okay, so anti-allergic kaya siya. All right. Again, my last slide. My last slide. Heating water is contain molecular hydrogen. The next slide will be a uh, short video. Okay. And uh, it has discovered that the documented healing or curative waters of Northern Rome in Germany, La Corte, Mexico, and Kita, then the Yossi, Japan waters contain dissolved hydrogen gas. So here you will enjoy the video at the Jenny Mahikita benefits na hydrogen electrons. Okay, thank you. Oh, he's a certified chemical engineer and instrumentations and control engineer. So sa tingin nyo, alam niya yung kanyang tatalakayin ko sa hydrogen. Alam na alam! <laughs> eh, hindi pa na, hindi pa na contento, kailangan deep breath muna, sobrang haba ng qualifications. MBA graduate. Grabe, related na related, tama? Okay, she is also a candidate of the degree for doctor in technical education. Wow. Hindi pa tapos, wait lang. One of the top resource lecturers and professors in the field of instrumentation and control engineering in the Philippines. So, wag na natin. Wag na natin patagalin pa. Let's call on Engineer Zenny Villalba. Thank you very much. So actually, we're gonna show you some slides because my mom is very technical. So, may mga bagay po kasi mahirap i-explain tama. Yes. Hindi po tayo magmamagaling tama. We'll talk. We'll have somebody answer for us. So, yes. Next slide. Can you know? Okay. Yon. So our hydrogen water pala pa kanya na boys from Suzo. Your hydrogen water. Okay. So, alam po ba ninyo, this particular product is very unique kasi po, it, there were actually different products na already existing in the market. Alam po ba niyo yun? Yes! Marami na po actually. Meron galing po na Japan, South Korea. Yung iba po, you'll notice, they use electrolysis. Okay? Some of them, they use magnesium-based sticks. Be careful with that po, maraming side effects. Okay? According to those who tried it, okay? And yung iba po, hydrogen gas naman na ginagamit nila. Hydrogen gas is flammable. Be careful po, ah. Tama ba? Okay. <laughs> but you know what we are using? Tinan niyo po, ah. We are so so hydrogen. Is made, it uses advanced electrolysis. Ngayon, maalim sa yung advanced electrolysis? Okay. Ito po yung ang ginagamit sa, to, sa totoo na, sa fuel cell technology. Ito yung nagpuproduce ng energy para sa mga transportation. Ang nililis na ay po water walang emission sa environment. At actually, sa ito lang, nangyayari na ito ngayon, all over the world, sa Europe, sa US, at saka sa Japan. Okay? Kaya lang, napakagaling itong, itong susaw na ito, ginamit po niya yung fuel sa technology na yan, in such a way, na gumamit siya ng membrane. Yung membrane na yun, nakikita sa ilalim, yun po yun, that sets and separates the hydrogen from the oxygen. So yung tubig dyan, sa totoo lang, is H2O, o water. Kaya na meron isang technology sa ilalim na yan, na syempre, hindi ko papagdini sa inyo, kasi it's actually a patented technology. Uh, hindi ko sasabihin sa inyo, may aluminum niya, etc., etc., hindi po. Ngayon, nagkikawali na yan ng hydrogen gas, o oh, hydrogen molecules from the oxygen molecules. Ngayon po, asa po pumunta ang hydrogen gas ayun po? Those that are bubbling up are actually the hydrogen molecules that we are. Wow. Hindi po yan, hindi po yan kumukulo, ha? Hindi po yan kumukulo yan. yan. These are just bubbles. Okay? So, it's an effective po ang technology na ginamit dito. At ang oxygen po, hindi yung umaakit sa taas kasi mas mabigat po siya. Hydrogen is so small, ang weight niya, sa so atomic weight niya is 1 or 2 po dalawa sila. Ang oxygen is mas mabigat po siya. So, then this oxygen is to go down. This is a membrane, and it goes out here, and it's attracted by a filter here, a carbon filter. Para hindi siya, yung sa hawakan po ito, para hindi siya lumabas. Pag lumabas siya, ang tendency is very rich kasi sa oxygen, it will come out as ozone, o-o-o. Wow! Wow! At hindi mo pwede yun. 
Oh. Kaya sumasakit na po ulo natin, okay? <laughs> Grabe po, no? Alam po ba ninyo na yung ating uh, suso hydrogen produces up to 1,200 plus parts per billion wow. of dissolved hydrogen per milliliter? Ano naman yun? Ano naman yung, ano yung part per billion na yan? Okay. Sa so, totoo lang po, pag sabi parts per billion, naku, isang part lang ng hydrogen sa 1 billion parts of the total H2O na, na pinuproduce natin. Ay, ibig sabihin nun, napakaliit naman, hindi po. Kaya siya parts per billion kasi ang liit-liit talaga niya. Magami siya, pero in comparison to the original water, ay masyado pa rin siyang maliit na maliit in terms of weight. Parts per billion po. Pag sinabi natin yung uh, hundreds, parts per hundreds, that is percent. Hindi ba? Alam natin yung percent. Pag sabi ng parts per million, alam din po natin, naririnig po natin yan, lalo sa mga toxic effects ng mga pollutants. Hindi ba? O, ito, itong, itong copper na ito, hindi pwedeng higupin mo yan. Kasi pag sumobra ka sa parts per million, sinabi ng, ng mga WHO, mamamatay ka na. Lalo na kung lead, pag uh, nasinghut maraming lead, may problema sa lead, unaipo niya sa brain. At ang tendency po, kung maraming ka lead sa brain mo, is that, you become, you have the tendency to become a criminal. Yes, be oh. violent tendencies kayo doon. That affects the nerves. Oh, see? Pero ito naman, sasabihin niya, parts per billion. Di konting-konti, di madami na po yun. Sa kaliitan niya, kaliitan niya, yung hydrogen, ay talagang isang parts per billion na effective na siya. Wow. Amazing. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Amazing po. So, this is my, uh, my, my mom, actually. With regards to, paano ba i-test ito, tama? Yes. Paano natin malalaman, totoo ba talaga may dissolved hydrogen siya? Yes. Are you asking yourself that question? Yes. So, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna show you, I will assist my mom, and she will explain po why is that way. So, uh, in this picture po, is uh, regular water that we got from, uh, from the Purify. Purify, no? So, we're just gonna put here, one glass, okay? And then, uh, we will test it muna, uh, Miss Joy, sorry. Yeah. Well, para malaman po ninyo, this is a tester, okay? It's about 650 US dollars, okay? It will test, okay? Kung meron siyang dissolved hydrogen. Sino po yung first time? Sino po first time? Dito. Ma'am, ano po nakalagay? Zero. Zero. Yung first time po? Ito po. Sorry po. Ano po nakalagay? Zero. Ibig sabihin po, pakita po natin sa camera. Sir, pakitignan. Kita mo? Kita niyo po? Zero. 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 Wala po. Purified water na po yan, no? Purified water na yan. That's one of the best water po available in the market, right? Yes. Okay. So now we're going to do, do Miss Joy will assist us with what? We'll pull this glass. Putuin natin yung glass. Thank you, Miss Joy. Parang pa ka na si Miss Joy. Thank you. Eh, take note, wala na po siya sa lalagyan, ha? Wala na po sa lalagyan. Okay, pakita lang muna natin sa first few. Okay, po. 1,092. 1,092. 1,092. Pakita lang sa camera. Grabe, tinan niyo po. Parts per billion. Parts per billion. Mataas ko po. Mataas ka. Okay. Okay ba? Yes! Can you imagine po, yung pong Lakota water is one man... Wow. Can you imagine nyo po? Can you imagine nyo? And grabe po ito. Ibang tao, they would ask, eh paano naman? Hindi naman kami maka-afford nito, tama? Para naman mag-check. You can also buy from an aquarium or a pet shop. Simple lang po. We call it? Methylene blue. Bakit po methylene blue? Nag-green kamay ko. Okay. Blue po talaga. Bakit po methylene blue? It's an indicator of a pH, a certain pH actually. So, ito ka lang. Okay. Ngayon, gagay po natin, we're gonna put... Uh, two drops. Two drops ba? Pati ka sila. Okay lang. Ito muna. One, two. One, two. Sorry. Okay. Steer it. Hmm. Pag-inis po yan actually na aquarium eh. Sige, pakistear po, Miss Joy. Okay. Nakita niyo po sa likod? Okay. Steer niya. Okay. Use this other one naman. Okay. Nag-blue talaga yung kamay ko. Grabe. Blue talaga. <laughs> Okay. Tinan niyo po. Same po, no? Thank you. Okay na. And then, we're going to wow. lift it together. See? Bakit pwede ko na go? Let's take it. 
The hill side, it contains hydrogen gas, or molecules. That is the only the very reason why it becomes colorless. So if you say it will be colorless with the presence of dissolved hydrogen in the water. Are you amazed? Amazing po! At mamaya po, if you stay a while longer, makikita niyo po, magiging blue ulit to. Dahil magbilis kong lumabas ang hydrogen molecules out of this water. So kailangan pag nakaluto na kayo, Ang tawag ng luto, ah, in a process kayo, you have to drink it at once. Immediately, if you drink it, the more effective it is. At saka mas maraming hydrogen ang mahihinom ninyo. Wow! Amazing! So, we're also quality assured. Alam po ba ninyo that 1.5 liters of our pure hydrogen water will give you equivalence of antioxidant 756 bananas. Wow! Para ka nangungoy pagkatapos. Apos, 500. Taros, 38. Spinach, 45. And pumpkin is 3.7. Yung malaking pumpkin, ha? Amazing po ba? Yes! Grabe po. And tingin nyo naman po. Comparison lang po. Ma'am, can I explain ba? Okay. Okay, lalapit lang po. <laughs> Ito po yung picture ng... Hydrogen. Hydrogen. Ganun po siya kaliit. Ay, ganun po Pointer. Okay. Yan. Tapos, ang uh, equivalency niya sa vitamin C is... Ito kalaki. In terms of molecular weight of antioxidants. Molecular... Oh, enzyme. Oh, enzyme. Lutatayon. 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 So, ang tanong po, so, kumino po kayo ng whatever antioxidant, Papasok po kayo sa cell ninyo. Indigo. Now you know the secret. Are you, are you ano, surprised? Grabe po. It will penetrate and hydrate and detoxify your cells. It can pass through any cell membrane. Easily po. Can be for anybody. Tapos grabe po, napaka-selective niya. Dami niya natutulungan. And ang dami po niyang benefits. Please, as a person who invited you. Even like this one, yung mga skin diseases. Grabe po. And so, brang dami mong researches. There are 320 studies done wow. on pure hydrogen and hydrogen water benefits. Grabe po. Are you amazed? Yes! That's all. Salamat po. Okay,